What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern Monday. Uh, if you guys are watching this on Twitch, Modern Sunday. Um, so recently I did a thing where on Twitch, if you guys want to submit a deck to me and make a donation, I will play your deck through a league. I will give you feedback. I will talk about your deck. We will uh, we'll see if we can make it work a little better. And, uh, you know, I'll post that on YouTube and you guys can check it out there, watch the stream, stuff like that. Uh, so this is, a, this is the first one of those that I've done. This is the deck. This is the deck submitted by my friend Scott. And uh, it looks pretty sweet. We have one summoner's pack. We have eight, seven mana guys. Lightning Greaves, which I think is pretty sweet with a card like Platinum Angel. Or even like Primeval Titan, being able to attack the turn comes into play. Ulamog. All of these cards are great with Lightning Greaves. Uh, two Blood Moon, which is interesting. One thing I did notice off the bat, usually I'm going to save the feedback till after we play the deck, but one thing I'm going to change immediately is that we don't have any like stomping grounds. We have Wooded Foothills, but no stomping grounds. So we can't actually search for a red source. So our only red sources are four Rootbound Crags and four Birds. Because you have Somberwald Sage, which is an interesting inclusion that you can play on turn two with uh, one of these bad Larrys. And that's cool because three mana to cast creatures is pretty good when all of our creatures are pretty sweet. Pro one problem I foresee is that Kessig Wolfren is our only source of colorless mana in the deck. And we might want to use Worldbreaker's ability. But... I mean, if you have a Primeval Titan, you can go get the Kessig Wolf run. There are a lot of ways to kill a Kessig Wolf run in Modern. But, uh, like I said, Blood Moon is pretty hard to cast with only four Ruben Crags and four Birds. So if we switch, like, two Forests for Stomping Grounds, I think we're in better shape. So I'm going to do that immediately. I could see even putting one in, but I think two is a little bit better. That's my that's my gut reaction here. Locks on Warhammer, which is interesting. And the life gain... Uh, could be relevant. One thing to keep in mind is that if you have a, a, a creature equipped with Lightning Greaves, you cannot also equip, equip it with Warhammer. A little, little interesting caveat. We have one Thrag Tusk, two Garrick Primal Hunters, Rurik Thar, which is interesting. A lot of these guys are just uh, Summoner's Pack targets, so you have actually three, th uh, two Thruns, two Master of the Wild Hunts, two Thrag Tusk, two Rurik Thar, two Worm Coil. Well, not Worm Coil. I guess those guys aren't going to get searched up, which is why the the one of Walking Ballista might not be the, the best. You can cast it with Somber Old Sage, but having just one of them is kind of interesting. Also, same thing with Genesis Hider, because you don't want to hit Walking Ballista. But other than that, like, those are the only two interesting cards I, I feel where I might have questions. But other than that, I, I think this deck looks fun. Um, as you might expect, I cannot guarantee any sort of winning record, because I'm just testing this deck for someone and uh, trying to give my, my, my feedback on it. And uh, we might make some changes toward the end. Two more Blood Moon in the sideboard. Two Heroic Interventions. Reese of 8604, thank you so much for two months in a row. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Scavenging Ooze. Beast Within. Great Sable Stag, which is interesting. Another card we can get with Summoner's Pact. Another Thrun, just for the, the control matchups, I imagine. Two Graft Digger's Cage. A Sword of War and Peace, which is interesting. Spell Skite. Uh, another one of, which you can't get with Summoner's Pact, unfortunately, but I don't know. Maybe maybe could be good. One Windstorm and one Fracturing Gust. So lots of, lots of different things in the sideboard. I would like to have more answers to things like... Like the, like if they play an Ensnaring Bridge, all we have is like Beast Within and Fracturing Gust. So I might be wanting, wanting to consider something like that. Maybe like a Reclamation Sage to search for. Um, or an Acidic Slime, something like that. Maybe both. We do have World Breaker. Cost seven, a little more expensive, but still an option. But uh, yeah, eager to see how this goes. And uh, let's find out, I guess. And I'm going to do friendly cues of these because I don't, I don't, uh, the, the, we're testing the deck. I have no reason to do competitive when I'm, we don't, we don't even know what we're playing yet, so. Ooh, that is loud. Well, John Mayer Gravity there on Spotify, so. Uh, not a sponsored stream, just so you guys know. I use Spotify personally. I don't, uh... Oh, look, we got, we got the Blood Moon and also several ways to cast it. Hmm. I don't think I like this hand. I'm gonna mulligan. 
it's funny because like you blood moon could just be a blowout against certain decks like but we have no real way to ramp into it so we, we're basically giving our opponent three free turns to do whatever they want which is kind of scary in modern so i'm gonna mulligan this hand seems real good put you on the bottom uh i don't like primal hunter with summer old sage because i can't cast it so maybe we actually want to avoid cards like this because we don't actually have any ramp for guys like garrick so it's just a five mana guy. Uh, I, I feel like we want, like, I think if we replace the Garrix with like acidic slimes, that's probably better, right? If we put Platinum Angel out and we put like a Lightning Greaves on it and our opponent's playing like Boggles, interesting. Can they ever deal with a Platinum Angel with a Lightning Greaves? This is interesting. John, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Wait, what is this spicy brew? What's going on here? Yep. What's going on, Alan? All right, this is an 8-10, and that's a little terrifying. One, two... Th why is it so big? Wait, why is it so big? Oh, it gets plus two, plus two for all the enchantments. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, thank for, thankfully we can play Platinum Angel, and hopefully they just don't have Path, I guess. Oh, God, what if they do? Are we just dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all these things. Just don't have path, I guess. That's what we're really hoping for. Because then we're dead. We literally just died a 13-13 core spirit dancer. So. And dead. I'm waiting. No, that's not dead. Come on, lightning greaves off the tippy top. Shano Droid, what's going on, buddy? Oh, a Daybreak Coronet. Like, if we just get Lightning Greaves on this, they can't win, right? Like, we might not be able to win either through, like, 19 life a turn. <laughs> but they can't win either, right? Oh, God, this could be the weirdest match ever. Well, negative 12 to 36. Seems good. I mean, we might as well just play uh, Garrick and draw four because they're just going to kill it anyway. Okay, literally, if they don't... Actually, we can play a bunch of dudes here. Two dudes or... Yeah, we're just going to play the two dudes. It's one less mana, but it's two more versatile mana when we have both of these in hand, so... Oh my god, what if this really happens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Three, six, seven, eight. If we draw one, one mana, we can actually play uh, both and equip. Well, we're just gonna. Oh, this has reach, so we'd actually just die if we attacked into this. <laughs> oh my god, what a game, dude. Okay, well, we died. So close. <laughs> Good times. All right. <laughs> Woo. Blue and black doesn't do anything. Hero convention, not really great. Beast within, I don't know if you're that great. I don't think the blood moons are good here. Fracturing gust definitely seems like one of our best options. Would love to have a dude to... Uh... And I'm gonna write take notes while I'm add dude dudes that kill enchantments artifacts walking ballista is weird all right 
which is interesting because I'm, I'm saying this during the stream so they can just hear me say that at the, at the time but yeah if you guys are interested in deck requests I did put it in my Twitch channel like in the in the profile so you can check out all the details there uh, I set a price point but it is we can discuss it so um I don't want to price anyone out of it but I also don't want to be overwhelmed by it and be like oh I got I don't have time to devote as much time to all these decks as I want to and <sighs> yeah we can actually spell skites amazing here because we can just steal their enchantments but I think that's it windstorm would be great if it killed uh if their guys floated Oh god, this hand is not great. I don't know what to do here. What up, Crystal Merrick? What up, Willie G? Yeah, this hand we're going to have to mulligan again. I don't like this hand, but I do like Spellskite and I like Fracturing Gust. I'm going to keep this and hope we just draw. We have seven mana creatures and four Somberwald Sages, so that's 11 creatures that we can draw. Yeah, we'll just keep you on top, sure. Yeah, we can't keep Worm Coil Engine Ugin Hand against the Boggles deck. That's just not how that works. Having a Spell Scout on turn two is pretty strong, though. Our hand is expensive otherwise, but... I actually am not even upset if we lose these matches because A, it's not my deck. So I'm not, like, representing the deck. The deck isn't representing me. And also because... We're having a good time. So this could be the this could be the answer I've needed to let to be less salty when we play modern. This is MVP, bro. Also, if they if they just path this guy, that's fine. Get a land. This dude's hundred percent getting pathed. They never don't have it. How dare you question my, my commitment to Sparkle Motion? How dare you? Man, that's an that's a <laughs> that's an old meme. You could pay me to play Tron. I mean, it is an option, yes. Mono Black Tron? I'm in. Are they just going to attack with, with Boggle by itself? Oh, are they just gonna, not going to do anything? That's pretty okay. Watch, we're just not going to hit a land here. Hey, we hit a land. We're doing quite well in the land department. Somberwald Sage would actually be just an insane draw next turn. We just go Somberwald Sage into Titan. Frank's favorite lands are mountains and Tron lands. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Is my question to you. I don't. Can you guys? Can you guys play? Can you guys make a mono red Tron deck for me? I could Willie G. I could try to look at a deck and see what it does, but I'll be honest with you. I'm actually also terrible at that. I'll be like, I have no idea what this deck is doing. Oh my god! Look at all these lands we're hitting. I'm actually okay with this. Isn't Mono Red Tron just called Big Red? And you play like Koth and Karns and Ugins. Oh my god, dude. One more land and we can actually just play Primeval Titan? This is gas. And if they path this guy, we can do it anyway. And then we can Fracture and Gust EOT after they put all their dudes on the thing. Oh, look at these mismatched horizon canopies. Sad times. Look at this. Look at this dryad arbor. Look at that ugly thing. We 
Ooh, no attacks, huh? You could have gotten a point in there. I bet. Ooh, Boglesford. Is it Bogle or Boggle? What do you guys say? I say Boggle, but... All right, well, that's fine. I was hoping for a land. I hate the Dryad Arbors because they look like forests. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, just drawing a card, huh? Okay. Draw another card? No? Okay. I say Boggle as well. Look at all these little nerds you got here. Got Nerd City up in here. The the old bog and bogue is the old uh the age old debate. Bog versus bogue. I think that was the big the big court case back in the day. Bog v bogue. I'm not sure who came out on top in that one. Depends on who had all the enchantments, I guess. Alrighty then, let's do a thing. This should get the ball rolling. This one spell skite has utterly destroyed their deck. I call them squiggles. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. That's good. I want to post a deck, Frank, and just take... Are you guys posting things and they're just getting deleted immediately? That's crazy. I don't even get to see them anymore. Something's happening. Oh, it's just drawing another card. All right. All righty then. Oh, sweet. PM's perfect. Yeah, if you guys want to PM me on Twitch, that's, uh, that is something I will see, so. Alan, I did think I got to see them, but they just look like dots to me. I'm just seeing three aster asterisks. Oh, look, look what it is. They finally found it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we hit a land, we can Ugin. I wonder if Crater Hoof is just good here, right? F plus five, plus five. We just win with Crater Hoof, right? Alan, do you see the three, the 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 messages that are just asterisks? Because asterisks? I'm pretty sure those are links. Those are people sending links, right? Like, that's what I'm assuming. So Twitch might have changed it so that you just they just don't let the let the links go through at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those were the links. Because I know what you mean. Like mods and myself used to be able to see it, but now I guess not. What's the damage? All right, you got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, that's a big dude. I can't exile it with Ulamog, but I can exile both of those enchantments. So that's good. How many boggles do you have, my man? This guy is still smaller than Primeval Titan, which is pretty hilarious. Well, that's pretty good. Let me kill those things. Did we go to game three now? Don't you mean squiggles? <laughs> I might. I might mean squiggles. Also, with Primeval Titan, I kind of want more cool lands in the deck. Because I don't want to be just getting these basics, right? I'm going to get two Stompers. No. Neither.
Primeval Titan's a hell of a drug. I mean, technically, depending on what their hand is, they might be able to kill us. Like, I, I have my doubts. Like, you'd have to have Path to Exile. Yeah, they can't. There's no, there's no Path to Exile to Enchantment that kills us here. So, but I literally have to say things like that. Well, maybe actually. See that that's scary. Because now they just be like, oh, one was a land, so. Yeah, that's pretty fine. Well, I guess we're taking five. Prey was gonna be Prey was gonna be tonight. I'm actually Jack of all trade, thank you so much for the eight month sub. You are awesome. I, I'm actually not going to be married to the idea of just playing it on, on Friday anymore. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have three, four. We are so close to being able to play both of these. I'm pretty sure we just actually attack with everything. And, or not everything, but just these two. And... Uh, they go to 17, but they like basically die especially because we have hoof gives trample but the problem is these guys would be five five no they'd be six sixes i guess actually i realized okay so i was i did the math for hoof and i'm like plus five plus five sounds awesome but now it'd be plus six plus six because we added an ulamog and i didn't account for that so i'm just going to go with keseg wolf run here we can also fracturing dust fracturing gust in response to their block where they gain no life and that should also kill them because we'll still have enough for Kessig Wolf run on Ulamog, so we have a lot of ways to to deal with this situation. And they have no cards in hand, so Nope. You guys saw my thing. Uh, yeah, always use Primeval Titan's ability. i uh, get the Wooded Foothills. doesn't matter. All right, so... Wait for the blocks. That's a cool story, bro. Put all your little bogles in the front. Put all your little squiggles in there. Oh, you're right. I should have actually... Well, the coronet wasn't on there, right? They just played coronet last turn. They played both of these last turn. Did they have a coronet on there? Is that what I exiled? Did I just do something real dumb? Probably. You're smart. I'm not. I always forget that about Daybreak Coronet. A thousand times I always forget that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Blockers don't matter. Let's go to the next game. Good deal. Yeah, I always forget that about uh, Daybreak Coronet. Beast Within actually might be good too because we can get rid of something that shuts off a Daybreak Coronet. Which could be relevant. And I also don't think we care a tremendous amount about them having a 3-3 because that's a creature we can deal with. Walking Ballista can actually come out for Beast Within. Walking Ballista seems pretty bad here. We can't shoot anything. So we're going to submit. I also upped the bit rate. My bit rate was at 3,000, 3,200. Now it's at 4,000. So if you guys are, are noticing a little more quality, that's why. This hand is gas, dude. Spicier than your spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Well, here we go. The The problem with this this matchup is that it's just a race, right? Like, we have to hope you don't have the things that can kill us, and we have to hope we can uh, do our own things before you can. I always notice quality with this channel. Nice. Nice. Major audio lag? Oh, no. 
Did you ever think that maybe you were the the audio lag, Elk Tears? Did you ever think about that? No, because you only think about yourself. No, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep, 4-4 four, four on turn two. That can never be targeted by anything ever in the history of life. And it has first strike. Yeah, we're dead. Actually, that's pretty good next turn, but... Somebody wants to touch him. <laughs> Italian stare. <laughs> uh. Amazing. Amazing. Here we go. Daybreak Carnet, obviously. Obviously. I mean, I'll chump block that dude, to be quite honest. Like, I'll go to eight, and I'll chump block that dude with the worm coil. Yeah. Definitely not taking it, because if they have a path here, we're dead. If they have a path here, we're dead is the problem. So, uh, you know, not really a game, but whatever. I could see them cracking, cracking this horizon canopy and, and, and looking for one. Yep, that's what I think they're doing. Did you hit it? This doesn't have this doesn't have uh, trample, which is great. So we're gonna block you, and then we have infinite blockers with no trample. That seems wonderful. Can we draw? Fracturing Gust isn't even that great here because we only have four mana outside of Somberwald Sage. Okay, now we're talking. So Somberwald, one, two, three. Big Prims. Juposhi, what's going on? What's the per creature enchantment? Uh, that's a good one. Um, Spirit Mantle. Let's get Colony Garden. I guess Wolf Run. Elf. Juposhi, you've had to be subbed for like a million years, or at least you've had to be watching for a million years. So I think we're on a, I think we're on a, oh, the first strike, we don't get any life. So yeah, that's pretty sad. I was literally like, oh, cool. We'll gain six. We'll go to 14. And then we're going to be real healthy. No, that's not how that works. Modern is hard. Oh my God. Eugene for like negative two. That would be disgusting. Please be a Eugene for two. I would definitely add a second Eugene in this deck. Well, the problem is you can't cast it off Sage. Sage does a great job of getting us Primeval Titan, but then we have to like actually have regular lands to to deal with. Uh... Oh, no attacks here. That's good. Okay, that's not that's not great. So we attack with Primeval Titan. They kill it. Well, I'm definitely cracking this and just getting a stomper. Eugene is Ugin, the spirit dragon. Who's Eugene? I don't think it's worth trading our Primeval Titan for two lands, so. Uh, what's up, Brian? <laughs> uh. Yeah, Courtney's familiar with Eugene because she's a dirty Tron player. I'm a little afraid. Like they had, they're in top deck mode, which is pretty good. I mean, I'm waiting. I'm I'm hoping to fade Path to Exile, Rancor, and Spirit Mantle. Spirit Mantle is usually only like a one or two of in the deck. They don't really have a a full suite of Spirit Mantles. Uh, 
The problem is we're also in top deck mode. Can we attack with birds? Nope, this guy has reach. All right. Griff's boon is pretty scary, but we do have we do have bird blockers. I probably want to play the bird here. I wasn't playing the bird because I didn't want um I didn't want them to hit like a I didn't want to hit a Eugene and be able to negative, but I don't think we care if we hit if we have Eugene like it doesn't matter. So This is what modern comes down to, ladies and gentlemen. Two green decks top decking. Here we go. Paying cost. Now we die. Ready? Spirit Mantle. Oh, all right. That's not a thing I care about. Uh, no, because this guy has first strike, so we cannot send the Death Toucher. They would just block it. Daybreak coordinate number dose, and now they have an engine, and we do not. Just watch your video on Bands on Bands while I agree with you. Take on Jason Blueberry for what's going on in the full corporate risk aversion route and do nothing. It's hard business decision to risk. I agree with you completely. I think they are risk averse. Watsi is one of the most risk averse companies I've ever seen. And um, I do not disagree with you. And it's unfortunate because I think Modern can be an even better format. I just... Why aren't they attacking? Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. Curtis, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh. Can our opponent just draw a uh, a land? Can they just draw like two lands in a row? That's all I want. Here we go. Oh, God. This guy's going to be huge, but also it doesn't really matter mm, super uncomfortable with how many cards you're drawing there it is there it is so now we have lightning greaves as an out we have summoners packed as an out i think maybe not i don't know what we can get with summoners packed crater hoof maybe i mean they're gonna go up to 60 life so probably not 70 life 75 life and you have a Path to Exile. All right. So your draw was Griff Spoon, Path to Exile that turn. That's pretty good. Crater Hoof wouldn't even be that great, though, because they have this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our guys will get plus nine, plus nine, assuming one guy dies here and one in Crater Hoof is taking its place. Actually, maybe that would be enough. No, because they'd gain... Well, maybe that would be it. That would be enough, wouldn't it? I guess we have outs here. Do another path to just draw two. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not dead yet. We still have a blocker. I'm going to play the Sage because Eugene isn't out. Maybe it's not out. I don't know. Yeah, we're just we're just empty our hand here. It's fine. We still have a bird to block. So they'd go to ninety is the thing. Like they would be able to block one of our. And I think no, I don't think it's an out at this point. Unfortunately. God, Eugene would be so good, dude. Are we blocking? I can't tell if we're blocking. Here, okay, we are blocking. Come on, Ugin, one time, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. You can get one time. We're not dead yet. All right. We're still surviving. I'm a survivor. I'm going to give up. Yep. Just going to pass here. We actually could have attacked with Primeval Titan to just in our deck, too, because we're really trying to hit a land, but I don't know if that's good. Fracturing Gust, also good. Gadok Teague. Fracturing Gust no longer an option. Eugene no longer an option. Okay. Oh, well, that's fun. And I think we're dead. 
That will do. Alrighty then. Uh, that was a surprisingly decent game, I think. Sage, Genesis, Hydra. What would Genesis Hydra hit, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we could Hydra for 15. We'd hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, nothing exciting. All right. Not bad, though. Not bad. I will play first. Oh, this hand. Oh, God, I want this hand to be good. I really like Greaves here. I kind of just want to play it because of the Greaves, but I don't think we can keep this hand in modern. Oh, uh, this is a better hand. Still a little pricey, but at least we got El Farino. Yeah, last game, not even, not even, not even hard to really get super upset about the last match because it was very close. It was game three, like... It just came down to who top decked a little better. And uh, unfortunately, they had a little bit... Wow, another Garrick, huh? They had a little bit of an engine going on there, so... Is this guy dead? Bolt the bird. And by bird, I mean Lenoir Elf. I would definitely trade a, uh, one of these Garricks in my hand for a... Uh, Another one mana guy, so I can just play the other Garrick on the next turn, but. I always get real frightened about decks like this, simply because of reasons like that. So now we're, like, so far behind. So now we just get to play a bunch of forests, and that's always frustrating. Who's, even, who's playing Forked Bolt in Modern? Come on, play Electrolyze and have some self-respect. Sure. Hmm. Chris, why did you say his name? Well, we do get to play that. And if we hit a land, we get to play Garrick. But the problem is there's so many expensive cards in deck right now. And uh, unfortunately... Because it's sad. Poor God just needs a hug. Oh my God, look at all these nerds. Can I protect? Hey, look at that. That guy just got Shroud and Haste. We can activate him right now, but it doesn't do anything. Curtis, how do you not know what Young Pyromancer does, dude? I know you were playing when Young Pyromancer was around. There's no way. Maybe, actually, maybe you weren't. Is that a real card? <laughs> it's possible. Here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. No blocks. If I end up getting, uh, if I end up playing this and, and then I put Greaves on it real quick, can they still counter it? Do you guys know? Wow, they could not have cracked that flood trend any faster. I'm pretty sure we scoop here because they're going to have a million dudes. Yep. 
Yeah, we're just going to go to... Uh, I'm just going to play it out. Like, I'm playing for someone else, so I'll play it out. We'll see what happens. Closers, feel free to check it out on YouTube. This will be on YouTube tomorrow as Modern Monday, so uh, feel free to check that out. So we... One, two, three, four, nine. We go to four. Pretty dead. We could draw Thrag Daddy, I guess. Put us to uh, nine. And then we're still pretty dead because we block here, take seven, and that presumes they don't have a single spell or creature in their hand. Well, that's not... Oh, we're not attacking. All right. Yep, you got it. Congratulations. Oh, look at this. Look at that young Pyromancer that was actually an Ulamog on the stack. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to take Blood Moon out. I don't think it's great against this matchup. I also don't feel like this is what... Blood Moon's what this, want, this deck wants to be doing. Bring in Spellskite. Bring in Thrun. Pro Red seems good. We can bring that in over the Warhammer, I think. None of these other cards seem great to me. Heroic Intervention's cute, but I don't think they have that much burn. I think they just ended up drawing it against us, so... I will play first. What's going on? This hand seems good. Decent, I guess. Thanks for listening to my recommendation to play Bluetron. It really means a lot. Wow. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Is this bird just dead? Of course it is. Just bolt the bird. Pass. I feel like this is a bad matchup for us. They're just way too fast. Our, our deck relies on getting out uh, creatures to accelerate into our big things, and their deck relies on killing our creatures. So, I mean, if we draw land, 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 we're in good shape. <laughs> If we can if we can keep this guy around and then Garrick to, to draw five, I think that's okay. I mean, I don't think any of this is ever going to happen because they just passed the turn with uh, three lands up and nothing. So, I'm also excited for the banned and restricted announcement, even though I agree that it might be no changes. Here comes Snapcaster Lightning Bolt, which is just the most amazing tempo swing you could ever ask for because they kill our four drop they get two more bodies on the board and they uh literally just it's just a three mana shriek maw what about creatures what are you saying right now um garrick make a guy it's not bad i mean they're just gonna counter right like this is just gonna get countered immediately yep all right and that's the end we're gonna go to seven here we're gonna go to six here and uh thrag tusk is not gonna get us out of that hole all right that match was significantly less close unfortunately i expect no change because i think wizards is risk averse but i also would love for them to be a little more liberal with the modern format uh, I think they have a reason to be because they see how it's popular. And people just want to play card. Like, I just want to play. Why didn't we? Oh, I was like, didn't we board this out? People just want to play their cards like Blood Moon. Not Blood Moon. Uh, Blood Braid Elf and Jace. Like, they just want to play those cards. If they end up being broken, I'll ban them again. It's not a big deal. Uh, I don't think this deck wants Cavern of Souls because you literally have... Like, there's no, there's no creature... Um, theme right like so i you think a bird angel beast uh we're definitely keeping this hand though i 
Do you guys mind if Mike B joins the stream? Is that a thing you guys mind? He just said, can I join the current stream? So it's up to you guys. I'm going to let you guys vote. Uh, the deck list was submitted by a viewer. Uh, like I, you guys can check the the my Twitch profile. I actually uh, someone's gonna just use the thing. So all right, looks good. I told him it looks good, so we'll see. Um, huh. Let's get this. Crack it for a. Forest. Play this bad guy. Let's see if they get their basic. I wish they got their temple garden, but. What's up, Jace? What do they call Mike B in Europe? Royale. <laughs> Juposha, it's like you're not even trying there. What's the, what's the verdict here? Can you crack this windswept teeth? There you go. You figured it out. What? They got a Temple Garden in response to me playing Blood Moon? What's happening right now? Are they countering this? What's... Do you have a... Oh, you're just going to kill it in response? What's going on right now? You have a... A, a white-green answer for a... <sighs> sure. <sighs> well, that's actually, I mean, that's not the worst you could have gotten, I guess. If we had Lightning Greaves on this guy, actually, they couldn't have done that because they wouldn't have two targets. I guess they could prevent all, no, there's no, no instant or sorcery. Um, nothing to fight, nothing to put a counter on. Yeah, that would be cool. That was weird. That was a weird choice. It makes sense, but it was still weird, so... Ghost quarter on the top. Mike's got a little diet Dr. Pepper over here. I don't know if you guys can even see him yet. He's creeping in. Let's just play Greaves here. I think we just play Greaves here because we want it out. I always creep in. I, yeah, it's true. He always creeps in. You sound like you're dying. Are you dying? Maybe. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe. Look at me attacking for one. One, two. Ooh, I like this deck already. <laughs> it's like what, the Platinum yeah, Angel at Ulong? Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> yeah, this was submitted for someone uh, to test out and give feedback on, so that's what we're doing. Nice. Someone is breaking into your house behind you and saying that. <laughs> wow, what a lovely young <laughs> God. And the chat goes wonderful. Did they crack a horizon canopy? Man, they Crazy. must have nothing. Uh, something good. Yeah, my throat's been a little... Uh, yeah, you sound, you sound hoarse. Yeah. I also just woke up, so... That's only 4 o'clock. <coughs> I took a shower. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I woke up like 30 minutes ago, thank you. <laughs> wow, what do you want, a cookie? Um, I mean, if you have any, sure. Yeah, I knew. I was like, your answer's just going to be yes, so... I'll take them if you have any. Crunch them if you got them, that's what I always say. Japoshi, I might be dying. He definitely sounds like he's dying, doesn't he? It's not good. Look at all these artifacts I have that are doing... Oh, wow. Main Phase Collected Company. Why do that Main Phase? 
Because they have no soul. Oh. Night and ooze, sure. Where in the U.S. are you? We're on the East Coast. <laughs> like it's super uncommon. Where where are you even located? Uh, the only the only place in the U.S. where uh, it's four p.m. We need another creature. Who we? Yeah, I agree. So we can start taking advantage of that hammer. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one man away from stupid platinum angel. But I feel like if we get platinum angel locks, uh, oh, come on, really. Oh god, we can't. I I totally forgot. Yeah, you knew. Yeah. You knew. You had to actually have something to move it to. Yeah, it's, it's so it's annoying. Very annoying. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't attack there. I'm not blocking these guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope they just don't kill us. Draw your birds of paradise. Oh my god, they drew birds, and then there was another birds on top still. Birds. Birdie, birdie. Tiger, tiger. You know what movie that's from? No. How do you not know? Yeah, how did you say it then? I mean, I'm sure I've probably seen it. I just don't remember what movie it's from. You sound like death. <clears throat> Look at this triple. Bad, huh? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm surprised because well, you sounded fine yesterday. I don't have any congestion, but did you? Just kind of some phlegm in my throat kind of hurts a little bit. John knows. John knows Kung Pao. Oh, it's from Kung Pao. Okay. Yeah, it's from Kung Pao. Enter the Fist. That's also also happens to be my favorite entree at Payway. <laughs> just so you guys know. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't like the Warhammer in the deck either, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make note of that. I could either dodge his attack, or I could get hit in the face. <laughs> I think I I've seen that movie. Dodge the attack. I think I've seen that movie once. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's something. So we need to have a burden. Are you gonna collect the company again? Oh my god. It's pretty goofy humor. Can they, can this, I don't know what this deck is, but can they beat a Platinum Angel with a, a Lightning Greaves on it? It's what kind of humor, what'd you say? Goofy. Yes, kind of like you. Your Acoustic Sun needs Theraflu ASAP. <clears throat> oh, planes on top? No, I'll be alright. Okay. Oh, well, as long as you'll be alright then. Yeah. Finally, I catch Frank and Michelle live. <laughs> Are you killing my stomping ground? Okay. Okay. You kill this other one too? I, joke's on you. I have literally two blood moons in the deck. That's all I need the red for. And I also have a bird. This is weird. I guess it makes your guy bigger. I don't care about that though. What's that foil thing they have? This thing? Yeah. It's oh, a Ramunap okay. Excavator, yeah. but it's got summoning sickness. That's not that. How many ghost core? Oh, you have Ramunap Excavator. That's why you're killing all my things. I don't know what this does though. I guess you're just sure. You're just doing some cute, some cute kill all my lands deal. I wish I had an instant speed like card that I can cast and just sh save all this mana, land. All right, what's your idea for the step? Oh come on! <clears throat> well, it does block. Yeah, we block here. Oh, I guess. Oh, and we can put a, a warhammer on it. I guess. Alternate packs. Mm, interesting. Sure. And Heath on top. I'll just play a windswept Heath. I think this guy underestimates how many lands I how many how many basics I have in here. Every time you say Utron, I always think you're saying Ultron. Every time. I'm like, why are we still talking about Marvel villains here? I don't understand. I like this is so grindy that you're just going to, like, ghost quarter me three times a turn. Something miserable. It really is. Like, you had to get... Like, you literally have three in the graveyard and one here. You drew all four ghost quarters against me. I guess you really only need one because you just get the same one back twice, but... I mean, this is slightly annoying because it decreases our odds of drawing a land, which kind of sucks. That's true. Oh, look. Wow, another one. Good lord. Play an additional land on each of your turns. I listen to two lands. So you play three lands a turn, so... You probably just ghost card me four times here. Are you done now? How many lands is this? No, they get four total, I think, right? How? One, two, three. This doesn't four. let you play an extra land. 
Oh. It's just Crucible of Worlds. So this is why you play so three lands. So it should only be three lands. But, uh... Were they just in play? I have no idea, dude. <clears throat> Maybe one was in play. So we block here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why even do that? What, like, why go through all that when you're just going to path my guy? I don't understand people, man. You sure you're dead? <laughs> well, we have to block here. Two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. And then they can just exile... I guess they can't exile anything. So we went on to one. But then we literally need one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't draw a card. Like... <sighs> Maybe we weren't dead, but like... Again, don't like Blood Moon here. Um... Oh, it's just so frustrating. So we block with birds. Yeah, we went. We might have went to one actually, and then been able to play Platinum Angel. As soon as we draw land, though, with no land. No, because they would have, we would have had path land. <clears throat> but I think that would have still been six. So we would have literally had a top deck of land, I think. Beast within seems fine. Players can't cast spells. Creatures can't enter. Um, maybe. But our scavenger unit might be better. Yeah, that's actually great because we can eat their guys. We got two of them? All right, that's good. Can you target anything or just lands? You can target anything. Okay. Well, you, I think you meant creatures, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, creatures. <coughs> All right. Well, I'm going to keep this just because of the Greaves, and I don't think they're... I don't think their deck is necessarily super fast. I'm just going to crack this and get a, get a stomper. There is actually a Rurik Thar in the deck, so. Rurik Thar, Hogar. <laughs> that's good. That's a little, uh, that's a little meme. You're a little meme. Your mother's a little meme. Wow. I didn't think we were going to go to those heights. I just play Bird here and then throw in next turn, right? Yeah, that seems better than Greaves. If you want to path my Bird, I'm down. It basically does the same thing. Yeah. Only forever. I guess Bird does it forever if you don't kill it, so. Man, I can hear your... I can hear your doc... You should put it up to the mic so it can be like Dr. Pepper ASMR. Well, they, they may have been able to hear that. That's true. It was actually very loud. Can you guys hear his Dr. Pepper fizzing? It's done now, but... Mm -hmm. Troll to troll, troll, troll. That was good. Is that the... Was that... <clears throat> did you do it like the dun to dun 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 noise, or did you do it like the thong song? I was doing the dun to dun dun dun. Okay. I just think that's the noise Mike's entire body emits. <laughs> Uh, what is Dr. Pepper lol? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? I can't handle this. It's a sodi pop. Dr. Pepper is in a physician who went, John, man, it's so good seeing you again. I feel like we haven't been able to we haven't been able to connect in a while. That's what I would say if I was working at a corporate <laughs> office. Hey, you got time to, to catch up? We I really would like to connect with you. We, I really want to hit the ground running. And uh, what are some office terms? What are some other terrible, terrible corporate office terms? Um, John, what are you? You been busy? What have you been doing? You been uh, got anything going on? Anything cool? I can give you a line where I was haste. I agree. <clears throat> Shoot me an email seems pretty generic. I I, I don't know if that's uh, necessarily a. Do we just attack? Like I feel like attacking is so bad because they just kill us. Touch base is the worst, dude. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are so close yet so far. Can we get a primeval titan off the off the top arena? 
get together and hammer this out. I'd like for us to be on the same page. Yeah, those are both. Those are good. Those are good. Might as well give this guy a... Tim Man the K Guard. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, supporting, for being you. Oh my god. This is too many courses of crew fix. You have birds on top? All right. Company is oh, gone. The old company birds. The old company birds. <laughs> <clears throat> is a group of birds a company? Voice. All right. Voice is a weird ad because we're like never casting anything on your turn ever. Yeah, when you have a group of birds, it's a company. I left to get breakfast and come back to Mike BB in here. Best morning ever. Oh, you just have another, another one. Okay. No, that was pretty mediocre. Oh, windswept heath on top. Is that a freebie? Nope, you played your land, I guess. Sounds good. I will block if you attack. That is my that is my my promise to you. If you attack, I block. I just want to cry at these draws. These draws have not been ideal. Uh, I don't play Noble because the deck was suggested to me. Like I said, uh, it is a submission from a, a, a viewer. And we're giving feedback and tweaking it. So uh, I'm playing the deck as submitted. And Noble Hire could be a good addition. I don't know if it's... It might be better than Elves. I'm just going to pass here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we're so close yet so far. So far away. WDYT is something I would probably, I would probably murder a dude if they ever said that to me. Yeah. Like on a regular basis. Like if they just said like, w, hey, WYDT. Well, now I know what I'm saying WD, from now on. What? Now I know what I'm saying from now on. Is that a, is it because you have a death wish? Yes. Okay. Well, that this got... Took a turn for the dark. Took a turn for the dark. Is that is that what you think? So oh, the only way to cast a ghoul mog in this deck is naturally. Nope, nailed it. That makes more sense. I'm just gonna play this land actually too. Oh, we did it, and we got lightning greaves for this bad Larry. Come on. Just don't have path, I guess. Well, they're just going to kill in response, maybe. Let's get garden and wolf run. Like, you path it now. Don't give me a chance to lightning greaves. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, boy. Oh, we're, we're, we got a game here, ladies and gentlemen. So this guy's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. They should probably block with both of these, I guess. I was thinking about letting you crash on my couch when you come to visit. Double W... <laughs> w -D -Y -T. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying right now. I feel like it's derogatory and I feel like I'm being attacked. So if you could please stop, I would appreciate it. Stop attacking me. You can never have this. You can never have this. That's from Borat. Did you know that? No. Did you ever see Borat? No, man. I've never seen Borat. Actually, I think this guy dies. They just get a fetch land, and then they get another fetch land. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, it's fine. Whatever. He did his job. The point was getting 10 to, to Ulmog. And we have 12 now, so maybe we just not attack? I don't know. I got really excited about attacking, though, so... Sack of forest, get a fetch land. <clears throat> yeah, this is a bad trade for us, but I'm okay with it. Ulamog seems pretty good. I am drinking water with a little uh, watermelon flavor in it. A little watermelon agua fresca. Agua fresca. Yeah, this is... 
not an ideal so you've attack. you got water with fresh water in it? Yeah, water, fresh water is what I'm drinking here. Nice. I like that you think I drink Mountain Dew. Come on. Have a little. I've seen you drink it. I drink Diet Mountain Dew. I don't understand people who can drink soda just like over like a million different. Like our friend, our friend, our other friend, Mike would always drink like regular Coke. And I'm just like, that's like, if you drink four Cokes a day, that's like 600 calorie. No, it's actually like 190 calories, probably 170 to 190 per soda. So then you're yeah, looking at like, like yeah, it's ridiculous. So you're looking at like 800 calories a day from like four sodas. It's pretty I unbelievable. Like probably over hundred grams of sugar. Right. Exactly. Like it's just, I, I can't, I, I'm like, I don't understand it. So I guess we're getting a tireless tracker here and Knight of the Reliquary. Um, it's pretty awkward because they can actually counter our Ulamog now, but... Well, that's on top of their deck, right? Oh, they can draw. They can draw it with a tracker. Well, it's still probably worth because they can exile two permanents. So. Control more creatures. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, they're a little ahead. And we tried really hard with the uh, with the plant tokens, but whatever. Do 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 do. Burr, dur, 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 dur. You got it. Oh, interesting. Eldritch evolu El evolu Evolution. That's how we say it in the biz. El evolution. No one does that. People say it. No. You don't know, man. <clears throat> Hey, that's the music from the game they made that movie about, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Nailed it. No, oh, that's a good card. Now you get a ghost quarter? Okay, ghosty. We'll put old ghosty. Can you just let these guys die? You got it. Can you just let your guys go? Let my guys go. That's what I was thinking, yeah. That was our one Ulamog, so he's gone now. This is actually a matchup where I wouldn't mind drawing something like Walking Ballista. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For 6, we can just go kill, kill, kill. Sell 3 for 1. Not bad. They got a Ghosty in hand. Seems fine. Draw a card. Now they got a voicey in hand. Now they play a windswept heath. Everything's coming up Millhouse here. Vintage Wednesday. You need to get you need to get your life under control. I don't hate that though. That sounds all right. It's gonna get to a point where I just have to post two videos a day, like one at one at eleven and one at seven. I usually schedule all videos to go up at eleven a.m. Eastern time. So if you guys weren't sure, you can always check YouTube at eleven a.m. to find new stuff. Today was a little different because I threw up a late modern banning and unbanning video. So I actually like vintage. Like I love. I think vintage is awesome. I think it's better than legacy. Oh, wait, do the new bannings and unbannings happen e tomorrow? Okay. It's not gonna work. You don't know. Oh, dang it! Dang it! Careful with that guy. Thor, you did not make it. What is this, a 3 3? Can I just block with Thrun? Uh -huh. I don't understand. Like, you put a counter on your guys. I regenerate. What happens here? I don't. I'm confused. Okay. 
okay, you do this thing, sure. I regenerate. Seems like a kind of a waste of voice of resurgence, but all right. I guess they get a 5-5, five, five, but it's pretty meh. Yeah, I mean, what do I know? I'm the one losing to Corsair of Crufix. I don't think you're losing. I think you're fine. You don't know me. You got a worm crawl, Dad. A worm daddy? Yeah. That's my worm daddy. That's actually not terrible. Boop. <clears throat> so I attack, they just block here, right? That seems bad. I feel like Worm Dad's pretty good here, though, so... Those are better when you can give a trample like for a million. I do like trampling for a million. Yeah, like they could have just activated Gavin Township after the voice died so that their guy gets a counter. Like the only thing you're doing is making me use two mana to regenerate Thrun. Oh, that's so sad. Why are you the way that you are? Pretty sure we just block this, which is weird. But like... I guess we could also take it and then attack, but then they're just going to block with this guy and make another big dude, so... I'm just going to block here. Is that the button? I don't even know the button. I used to think that card was creepy, then I realized there's just two worm cuties hugging it out, and now I try to base my life on the teachings of worm coil engine. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. Crater of female on top. That in this deck. Yep. Oh, that was a good. That's a good dude. It's pretty good. Especially when it has shroud. Yeah, yeah, and haste. Can I get a little boop boop? Oh, that's All right, well. This game is pretty much over. Well, <laughs> we had a good pretty run. Hard. That's pretty hard to deal with. I mean, they could actually uh, make their Bird of Paradise big enough, but then we just beast within it. Big plats. Fatty McPlatty. Fatty McPlatty. <laughs> I'm just going to yield to that because I don't really feel like dealing with that nonsense so they have to have like an enchantment removal spell in their main deck or even boarded it in but I don't know if they had a reason to board it in they probably just threw it oh my god how many courses of crew fix are too many one one's too many ghost coder I'm gonna always yield to this idiot I feel like I did that already, but I guess not. Yield again. I wish this was like a 310, because that'd be real good to get uh, about blocking. Is that too good, you think? A B Y, always be yielding. You know how loud that cat is? He's really loud. He's like the loudest cat I've ever seen. <laughs> what does he even want? He's basically screaming. He probably wants food. He always wants food. That's literally all he wants ever. I, I like that they're going to try to double block here and make put counters on both these guys. And then we can kill the big one and kill the, kill the little one in one in one fell swoop. That's cool. 
Lands are fun. Horizon canopy. Off. Lands are fun when you're having fun. That's you just rhymed fun with fun. Yes. What are you, Homer Simpson? Maybe. You're you might be Homer Simpson. I think I might be. Uh, we didn't beast the Gavity Township because it. We don't care. I mean, we might care. Well, you can't lose the game. We can if it dies in combat. How's it going to do that? They block with the birds eventually. Eventually. Not today. <laughs> no, that's the loudest cat I've ever seen. Come on. He's so loud you can see his, his meow. I can see his verbalization. His meow. His acoustics. That's my acoustic cat. Ooh, Path Dexile, huh? That does not target our thing. You don't target my thing. So we can't lose the game. But how are we going to win the game? Patience. <laughs> Time our opponent out. Yes. Oh, Whisperwood Elemental? Good lord. What's going on here? That would be a good card for this deck. That seems sweet. They have 27 cards. We have 36. Decking them is actually not... Really? I guess that guy was holding down the fort for us, but... Still. Like, you're... What are you... you can attack me to zero here, and I'll just... I'll just... I'll survive. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop, but keep on surviving. Yeah, you know. You know how we do. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. Do we... Definitely block one with Thrawn, I think. Well, yeah. But I think that's it. I'll just take 9, 10, 11, because they're probably going to make a... Put a thing, put a thing on a thing. Can you, Ugin seems pretty good here, right? You just go negative two, negative three. Kills everything on the board. We get to keep Thrun, Lightning Greaves, Platinum Angel, and Worm. I just feel like this deck wants more Ugins. Like, Ugin is like such a good top end card. Are there any Eugenes currently in it? There's one. Okay. That's not him. Are you sure? Um, I think so, so that similar. was that was a forest. Oh, hmm. I know it's hard. It's 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 similar but different. I just want them to double block really badly. They're just gonna single block and pump. Yep. I don't know why they would do that though. It just makes me want to cry. Seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm starting to think we should have actually beast within the Gavity Township. No Atarkas either. Atarkas actually not a bad option either. Especially with Somberwald. I can see that. I can see that making the cut. Unified Will on the top. All right, so you have Whisperwood Elemental in hand. Unified Will on the top. Unify. -y. Yeah, the Scavenger Township is probably correct to kill, and we just messed up. Well, we still can't lose the game, so. That's true, but I don't know how we win the game either. Time them out. <laughs> oh, they do have five minutes, actually. So they do have to win the game in five minutes. That's... Valid. I guess they could actually start killing our lands now. Oh, they can only play one land a turn, though. Like, ghost quartering one land a turn is not really a big deal. Oh, they're just going to Horizon Canopy and draw things. Okay. Well, that's pretty annoying. Bird on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
Unified Will is a hard counter against us now. That is unfortunate. Here comes a Whisperwood Elemental, which means it will always be a hard counter against us. However, they only have one mana up, so whatever we top deck does get to survive. We don't even really have to F6 here because our time is fine. So... Also, Crater Hoof right here might actually win us the game. I'm pretty sure if we top deck a Crater Hoof or a Summoner's Pact, we just win. Because we have a lot of dudes. One, two, three. Crater Hoof or Summoner's Pact. Come on. Dromoka's Command. That does not do anything. I thought it fights. It does. Oh, yeah. We have Shroud. Bird equals one is what I want to put for that because this is a Bird of Paradise. Everyone knows that problem in math. Bird equals one. I guess we just attack here. Uh, and what's the point? What? Why not? I guess they can't. They can't pump. They so can see us ever winning this way. Right, but there's no point not to. If they can get rid of this, we lose the game. If they can't, doesn't matter. So, Dromoka, Knight on top. Put Knight T is what I'll say. So, they have to just find a way to deal with Platinum Angel in four minutes. Otherwise, we win. I mean, what, what if they don't have a way to kill an enchantment, uh, an artifact, in five minutes? Like, what if they just don't have it in their deck? They might not. They literally might not. All right, so knight equals two. I mean, the company is pretty strong. That seems pretty reasonable. It deals with Gavini. Oh, they just let it go. They didn't even pump it. Huh. Yeah, you pump it. Yeah. Alright, so now we're safe to attack because Bird doesn't actually... They have a Knight of the Reliquary here. Uh, it doesn't have haste. I don't think we attack. I don't think we get anything out of it. They're at 35. Five. They're at 35. Like, we deal... 35. They're at 35. We deal 3, but then they... Or we deal 4, but they gain 3 every turn. So it's like, meh. Dramoka's command, fight something. I mean, I'm, I'm afraid of collected company into like Reclamation Sage. Yeah, that would be good. Well, we did go up to negative 11, which is nice. That is a good amount of life that we needed desperately, I'm sure. Right, 330 is what we're banking on. So. All right, so Whisperwood is gone. We know they still have Will. Bird is the first morph. Bird is also going to be the third morph, I believe, unless they cast Company in now. I don't even know why you're still attacking. I'm at negative 11. Bird is oh, the word. we just go to game three because they have three minutes and they can't actually beat a... Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. They figured it out. Huh. Well, I'll be... Sword could actually be reasonable because they have a bunch of paths and Dromoka's commands. But they also have three minutes to win and we have like nine, so... That's cool. That's cool. God. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. You brought this upon yourself. What did I bring? What, by being your friend? No, by letting me join the stream. You could have said no. I guess that's true. I'm sorry, the people I I let the people vote and they were like, Yeah, Mike B. And I was like, Okay. I don't think I care about this. We have three minutes. 
Oh, I like how Sizers went from I'm quite sure they can kill a Greaves in five minutes to Shroud Platinum Angel isn't a really a fair thing. Yeah, really quick turnaround there, buddy. This hand is terrible. Ooh, this this hand is, is also terrible. It's also terrible, but I think we just have to keep it. Really? Ooh. They have to win in three minutes. Okay. I said boo earns. <laughs> no, they're saying boo. Boo earns. Well, that's the best we're going to get. Can I get a somber walled? Oh my god, yes! That was insane! Birdie. That's a turn three worm coil engine. Presuming. It lives. Yeah, presuming they don't. Dromoka's command slash. Uh, Path it. Path it right. They still only have two and a half minutes to win this game, so. We'll see. I think she's going to in this guy instead. That's aggressive. Okay. They didn't. Wow, look at all these things you have. That's a fat daddy. It's quite the fat daddy. <laughs> all right. One time. Come on, wormy. Big worms. God, don't do it. Okay, it's just collected company. Just main phase collected. Yes. Do that. Don't care about you. Oh my god, the, the collected for one Remy Nap Excavator? That's pretty bad. I'm going to pump my fist right now, my friend. They have one card in hand? This game has just ended. Whoa, whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, the game has ended. I don't know if the game has ended. The game is over, Michael. To be fair, now he has to deal with a worm coil and kill you in a minute and 45 seconds. So. It's not great. It's not good. He needs, like, path right now. Send me a path to exile. I feel like if they had it, they probably would kill this guy, right? Like, that seems like a much better play. Oh, my God. What's probably. happening? Eternal Witness, get back collected company? Okay. So that's your one card in hand. You can't cast until next turn. Deal. Needs a little company. One, two, three. You need a little company. Do you just go Elf or Urkthar? Maybe. How does that guy work? Uh, it has Vigilance and Reach. It attacks each combat, and whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, it deals six damage to them. Hmm. We can also just play Platinum Angel here. Which would probably put the nail in the coffin, I think. Yeah, I don't see them winning in a minute. They have conceded the game. We have won. We are two one with this deck right now, right? No, we were or we're, we're one. We're one two. Okay. I thought we won that Boggles match, but it was just a matter of pretty bad draws. How many uh, matches in Standard League? Modern, rather. Five, five of them. Five of them and jive them. Five alive. Oh, uh, this hand's actually fine. Any one land off the top is good. I don't know if that makes I don't, I don't know if that makes it good or not, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, any land in this hand is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Send me an angel. Right no. Are you ever going to send me that Angel Man or what? I'm, I'm um, still waiting. Eventually. Well, I need it right now, okay? Do you really? Yeah. Like right now? Here comes Ar the Quattro, Quattro Archive Traps. You ready? Got a forest there, huh? Yeah, because I, this is the only red card in the deck. And if I play Blood Moon anyway, I want to be able to have green mana. Okay. So I'll play it off this guy. Plus the only other option is Stomping Ground. 
Oh, looks like humans. Hummins. Hummus. Come on, one time. Land off the top. Just give it to me. Come on. I'm going to look you in the eyes when I draw. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, gross. Gross. Oh, that was a good game while it lasted. No, we're not dead yet. Also, Blood Moon seems reasonable against this deck if they only have Noble Hierarch to produce their colored mana. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty good. Did they just miss the second lander up and not play anything? Oh, no, you just, you're like, I'll just do all this post-combat. We did win that game three. Yes, it wasn't even close. <laughs> oh. What do you think about this this article? Oh, that's fine. Joke's on you. I got all creatures. Like this guy. Mm. It's kind of like a land. It's a slow land. It just comes down next turn. It actually kind of makes sense. Oh, uh, yeah. This guy. Don't get me started on this guy. Who is that? I don't even think I know that guy. You know that guy and I don't? He's the guy who's like banned from League for like two years straight. Because he was so toxic. Who's this guy? Do you know this guy? I don't know that guy, no. Oh, uh... Ice Poseidon? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I know Logan Paul. I know Dr. D Disrespect. I don't know these other guys. So, I'm looking at an article right now. It says, uh, YouTube and Twitch helped create an, inesca an ines inescapable era of provocateur culture. And uh, it's just going over all like the the really toxic people on, on those platforms that are just literally there to create drama and instigate. So, <laughs> Logan Paul probably does not play MTG. You don't know. I think it depends entirely on the fact that he can't uh, post his merch in in Magic Online somehow. Like, if he could get a merch quote in, then I think he would. Who? Logan Paul. Like, if he could somehow <laughs> sell his merch through Magic Online. <laughs> Oh man! What if he just wrote on on every card, uh, merch in bio, link in bio, or something, and then he just sleeved it up, and then Buy that's that. what he played. Merch. Buy that merch. <laughs> oh my god, those guys are so cringy, dude. I don't understand. My opponent said I'm starstruck. LOL. Gotta love missing combat. So that definitely explains why they just were like, eh, I'm just gonna go to the next phase. I'm good. Blood Moon's not coming down anytime soon either. What isn't? I guess if we draw a land, we can play it. What? Blood Moon. Yeah. Bamoonie. Bamoonie? You mean LoganPaul.com slash Merch J? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Buy that merch. I will take Quattro. Should I block with this bird? No. Okay, good choice. Did you buy that merch? Maybe. Can you tell me the tracking number for your Logan Paul merch order so I can... $100 free shipping, y'all. <laughs> oh, that was a good draw. Do we Blood Moon and just like let them have these two guys, or do we actually play Sombrawald Sage with the intent of Primeval Tightening next turn? I mean, Blood Moon seems pretty good. They won't be able to play anything anymore. But, like, what do we do? Still, they're still attacking us for four, and that's what I'm worried about. Six, actually. No, because this guy's going to be four with Noble Hierarch. Oh, sure. 
I also always thought this was an 03, not an 01. 01 seems pretty pretty weak. Big Money Grip. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Congrats. Congrats. I want to say congrats, which is a weird thing to say, but like, glad you uh, glad you got to catch a stream. Congratulations. You can be what they have now, but you probably can't be whatever they play next. Yeah, right. Maybe that's... I don't know, though. Like, they're going to deal us four, so we go to 11. Then we untap and play this guy. Then they attack again. They put us to seven. Then we play Primeval Titan. They attack. We go to three, and we just have to draw an answer. We can't lock it on war. One, two, three. I guess we could have Warhammered. Maybe. Uh, we can still do that, though. Like, they just have Blood Moons. Or they just have... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going to stop talking right now. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, same. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm not. For the wild. I, yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> You're like the human sloth. This is my secret hey man, power. let me ask you something. Yeah? If you felt like any of the seven deadly sins represented you, which one do you think it would be? Probably murder. Murder? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's one of them. It's murder. Oh, Lord. Make sure you stop by Frank's online store for that sweet merch. Frankgang.com slash merch. <laughs> oh, God. It's murder. You know who that is, man? Yeah. It's yeah. Tupac Shaker. I don't think that's who it is. Maybe not. It's totally, that's definitely not Tupac. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's definitely not. It's not. Just Google it's murder. I know who it is. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Hold on. Ja Rule. It's Ja Rule, yes. Yeah. Mike, it's murder, dude. I'm just waiting for you to know that it's murder. The eighth deadly sin. Murder. Yeah, I was like, I don't think, I don't think murder is one of the seven deadly sins. So you're saying murder isn't a sin? No, I'm not saying it's one of the seven deadly sins, which is a different thing, my friend. Okay, so you can get off the hook for it. Ooh, Mo Marino commented on this YouTube video about the modern unbannings and said, Stoneforge Mystic and Brotherhood Elf unbanned, Ancient Stirrings banned. Oh, that's going to trigger some people. Isn't it always sad when, like, these ex these Tron pieces just happen to get banned? No. No, it's not. You're right. You might say it's murder. <laughs> I'd be fine. If the, just ban the Tron lands. Get it over with. Right, just get them out of the format. No one has fun with that just, deck. You can ban one of them. You don't even have to ban all of them. Just ban Tower. Boom. Done. You name Primeval Titan? That's unfortunate. That's an interesting thing to name. What up, Ozzy Rock? Yeah, that's that was an interesting choice. I think we're dead. Do you? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Cool. We can play we can play Garrick and draw zero cards with it. Ooh, that's tempting. Next. We draw one card. No, because oh yeah, you're right. We draw we draw one card. Oh boy. Actually don't have enough mana for that. Yeah, we do. One, two, three, four, five. It costs six. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Don't know how we actually beat this. Well, we don't because they literally played Meddling Mage on Primeval Titan, which is like the best play they could have ever made. I don't really like this Loxon Warhammer. I think it's too slow. Um, Sort of War and Peace seems reasonable. That in the Dark Prime time was pretty brutal. Yeah. I guess it's a pretty good assumption. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Is it? Is it? This also feels like a deck that just can't be to Platinum Mage with a Lightning Greaves on it. 
What do we take out? I feel like that's a lot of decks. Man, you are a maniac. A maniac, maniac. Avarice is an angel from Innistrad. That is a real, that is a real uh, Ralph Wiggum quote right there. Avarice is greed. Avarice is an angel from Innistrad. I saw your leg moving up and down. And I was like, is that the cat coming in here? It wasn't. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My leg is not a cat. Unfortunately. But oh, what if it was? Oh, this is a good hand. We can actually go turn two this guy. Turn three summoners pack for Titan. Play Titan. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Are you? I don't know if we can actually play Titan on that same turn because uh, we have to pay for the Pact. No, we we play the Pact, get the Titan, play the Titan, and the Pact costs zero, you know. Well, you got to pay your four, your upkeep, or you die. The next turn we do that. After we play Primeval Titan. Do what now? Oh, you mean play the Pact on the same turn you play the Sage. No, we play the Sage on turn three. On turn two. Uh -huh. Turn three, we play Summoner's Pact to get Primeval Titan and play the Titan. Do you have enough mana for that? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I think you're drunk. I am drunk. Oh, that's a good dude, too. We can just play that guy. Some type of way. Quick roll. You forgot murder. Murder is not one of the seven deadly sins, you stupid <sighs> Mitch. No, it is. <laughs> God. Oh, Wrath of God is one of the seven deadly sins. That's cool. Hmm. I like a turn to Aether, Aether Vial. Make me feel some taboo. Eh? Here comes old Tide Hall of Skeller. One. What? Ooh, free boots. Eh, it's fine. They'll take the Summoner's Pact. I don't think it's fine at all. Well, we can pretty, still play Rory, big. Rory, big Rurs. Well, they only play non-creatures pretty much, so. Yeah, but it's still a huge fat 6-6, six, six. idiot. Watch, we're going to draw like only only spells from here on out. I was looking forward to our Primeval Titan, no joke. We could have actually used it in response, but then we just have to, like, we don't get a turn. Still might have been better. Maybe. Yeah. I'm just hoping we draw our one of uh, Walking Ballista so that we can shoot it. Oh, here comes Fiend. Oh, alright. I was like, here comes a Fiend Slayer. Fiend Hunter? Yeah, Fiend Hunter. That's what it is. Fiend Slayer! Jesus was the fourth horseman of the apocalypse? Good lord. Literally. The best horseman is Bojack anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Did you see this meme? That was a good one. <laughs> oh, give it a butt rope. Uh, Pray Through Part 3 did not get cancelled. Me and Mike actually might. You want to do that later? Sure. We'll do that later. Oh, this guy's just coming in for five. Coming in hot. Oh, oh, we, what if they forget this guy has reach, though? Oh, that would have been such gas. They didn't forget. I would take six from this, but we get to put it on, so whatever. Small price to pay for a, a Lightning Greaves forever. Everyone wants to see the meme. They're demanding it. Oh, I already, I actually had it up earlier. Here you go. I'll give you guys a second to it to to appreciate and to preach and then I'll pull it down. Get in there, Rory. <laughs> okay, you need to calm down. Give it a butt rope. Okay. All right.
The problem is if they're playing the Aetherval version, they don't have Collected Company, and I don't foresee them ever playing any spells, so... Mac, maybe you want to have a whip. This is a lot of Noble Hierarchs. So this guy's a 6-6 six, six now, so we just trade. Here comes Noble Hierarch number 4. The full playset, which makes my Rorik Thar useless. Ready? I'm waiting. Actually, it's probably just going to be Athalia's lieutenant to give it, make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Here we go. Maybe we'll forget to attack. That would be glorious. Okay, that's actually fine. That is not a thing I care about. Um, okay, here we go. Now they're playing the Thalia's lieutenant for two. Now we've, now they did it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Like you have to have, you have to have this guy. You have to have all three of these. You have to have Mantis Rider, and you have to have Thalia's Lieutenant for this board to work out the way it has. And I can't even block your Mantis Rider anymore. You can't. It just, uh, it's not a great deal. You're right. You're so right. And it's also a two-turn clock, so like, that's cool. But I guess we have a bird to block. That guy does absolutely nothing here. Yeah, get in there. You're doing good. I mean, Rurik Thar has Vreach. We can block it. It's just not going to do anything. Like, I'd, I'd rather just not chump block a Mantis Rider. God, there's so many matches where I've wanted Ugin. Like, is there a better card than Somberwald Sage that we can play that like draws us two lands or something that like ramps us correctly? Oh wow, really? Oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't know why you'd make this trade. That seems great, especially when you're at seven. So we have mana to... Actually, we should have put on the bird so we have a regenerate mana. Because if they, like, path our bird or something, that's... So if they attack with everyone, I mean, I'm sure they just have double Thalia's Lieutenant in hand. It's just that Thalia's Lieutenant's all day. Thalia's Lieutenant's on deck. Oh, just a... No, just another Thalia. Okay. Just some type of way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually can't even cast Ugin, unfortunately. <coughs> the problem with Kodama's Reach is that it doesn't put them into play. Like, this ramps you from, from three to six, right? Kodama's Reach ramps you from three to four. Oh my god, look at this dude. I'm just gonna take it, I guess. Go to go to go to two. World breaker would be nice. Maybe. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> or that. That's also good. Alright, game game two. Unless that was game two. That was the match. Alright. <laughs> Not ideal. So they attack with everyone. We can block three guys. We'll block the biggest guy. We'll block the 2-2, two, two, the 2-2, two, two, and the 1-1. One, one. We take, still take three, so we're dead on board. All right. Um, not doing great so far, but there are definitely some changes I would make to this deck. There's Oblint. They're going to draw Forest. Correct. Correct. Forest makes me feel some type of way. It's not a good one. It's not a good type of way. Oh, uh, this hand actually seems pretty good. 
Unfortunately, we don't have any forests, so if we draw Blood Moon, we're just at the mercy of drawing forests, but could be good against certain decks. We also get Double Bird. Forest? Not a forest. Also probably not good against any Celestial Colonnade deck. I feel like one Atarka would be good. I also feel like another Summoner's Pact would be good, because there's so many times where you just want to be able to hit your guys. Come on, Forest. I would not mind a forest. Forest and a blood moon would be pretty sick. That's probably better, right? Yeah, for now. Or do we just play the blood moon now because they can't do anything about it? Yeah, but we don't have any forest. Oh, wait, we can... We, just, we have double bird. And if they, yeah, the yeah. only way to get rid of this is a path right now. So I'm just going to actually try to shut down their stupid colonnades. And they're going to have spell pierce, and that's going to be sad. Better. Did you say they better? Yeah. You better have it. Hey, I love it less when you don't. <laughs> I love it better when you don't turn to Blood Moon, me though. Yep, that's how you do. Michael, it's Grandma. We can go Greaves into Birds. It's probably better to Sage here, right? Yeah. Make me feel some somber way. Look at that majestic owl. That is a majestic owl. This whole card is majestic. I like this. This art is fantastic. That is some good Steve Argyle art. Good job, Steve Argyle. Good, good work, buddy. You did real good. I'm real proud of you. Everyone's proud of you here at the at the farm. We're at a farm. You knew what this was. You knew everybody knew what this was. I'm very confused. Oh, that card's in the deck. Do we go Primeval Titan or do we go Walking Ballista Thrun? I oh, know Walking Ballista Thrun uh, Greaves 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 Thrun. I could also just Hydra here. Hydra. Yeah. One of the four six for four. I feel yeah. like you just want to make it. Make it real big, right? Yeah, that's true. The proportions on the back arm? Eh, I don't know. That seems like a real specific complaint. I guess we just prime time here. Yeah, that seems correct. I'm just afraid of Mana Leak, man. What if they got a Mana Leak? Well, then play Thrun. Okay. Wait, they can still Mana Leak it. No, it can't be countered. Oh. That's literally part of his lifestyle. Let me get them greaves. Let's put you on here. And then we can attack. Yeah, we can. I can't handle this spice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Blood Moon into Throne seems pretty good against Blue Eye. Oh, the double snappy? The double snappy with no uh, no targets, no less. Double ambush viper. It's your boy Kermit the Frog. Oh, I like that they don't have... now. See, now I feel Primeval Titan safe. Do you know how many lands I'm going to get, bro? Probably two. No, I'm going to attack with it, so four. Probably four. Maybe more. Uh, I don't know how I get more, but... It only happens if you believe. Okay, well, that's interesting. Do you have a path to Snexile? Oh, you didn't? My word. I'm actually going to keep you back. Why? Because I want to block. I don't know why. Just leave me alone. You're not my dad. Right? Why didn't you get a wolf run? Because it's just a call it's just a mountain. Oh, that's right. I actually got Colony Garden because I wasn't sure if it entered the it entered the battlefield uh with the trigger. It does not appear. Oh it's a coming to it's a coming to playability, isn't it? Yeah. So that makes sense. I will block. 
one of these handsome gentlemen and you're gonna wipe our board and I'm not gonna be able to regenerate my throne and it's gonna be real sad but not too sad because we have reasonable ways to recover here I guess five is good right five alive it's gonna be a somber world sage wow it's gonna be a bird of paradise well that just makes you want to cry doesn't it if we had six we got a free worm coil engine come on some type of way that's how i feel right now oh they do go to five though and walking ballista is a pretty good threat when they're at five And this dude has Shroud and Haste. Can you even handle it? I know I can't. I can. Are you going to do it again? Oh, what do you take? Blood Moon? Oh, I bet you take Blood Moon. Look at that. Look at all your mana freeing up. How do you deal with Genesis Hydra, though? That guy's still got a Shroud and Haste. Not like the Haste is relevant, particularly, but... Makes me feel some type of way, at least. We have nine mana. That's one away from just being able to walking blister them forever. Oh, Should have just played blister first. Then they could have actually cryptic command and tapped our team, though, so... That's rough. They do have one card in hand, and we have more than that. The cards aren't very good, though. You're not very good. Wow. They know we have these, so I'm just going to play those. They did not see what we drew after that, though. So, But we don't, our cards don't need to be that great, because we have Genesis Hydra on board. Like... I mean, they just have to chump with Celestial Colonies every turn, which doesn't seem ideal. I'll also assume they have a uh, Cryptic Command in hand, because they always do. One time, not a forest. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Always a pleasure. We have a good time. All right, you're getting in there? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Here we go. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> yep. Well, you called it. They always do. Glacial Fortress is not a dude. That's fine. He buys them a turn. Oh. Mm, they still don't have it. Oh, yeah, they do. Never mind. That's rough. What'd they take? Verdict? Okay. They sure did. I mean, like, so many... There's so many draws right here that just killed them on the spot. Let's see if we hit one of them. That's pretty good. That kills them. They're dead. Oh, yeah. Because haste. Sometimes you just draw a Thrag Daddy. And put your little pants on. No, those are boots. Can you guys make a meme where it's how does a Thrag Tusk wear pants? And then uh, how, does, how does a Thrag Tusk wear boots and have different ways to wear the boots? Can you guys make that meme? See, this is a matchup where I actually feel like I know what I want to bring in. Blue and black. That's not great. Is that good? I don't even know if that's good. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think the Platinum Angel tech is that great in this matchup because they have uh, Supreme Verdicts. I'm okay, Thrag Dad. I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. I don't think we care about Gust. We don't care about Graftigger's Cage. Sort of War and Peace, meh. 
This does give indestructible, which is not terrible. Yeah, heroic intervention seems all right. What are we cutting though? It is like the, the how the dog wears pants meme. Yes, that is where we were going with that. I'm going to cut one blood moon. And we'll just bring in the one heroic because it's kind of narrow. I don't want to draw them too many. Bombs over Thrag Dad. <laughs> oh, oh, this hand's great if we actually had some way to cast these things. I think we can keep it anyway. I think it's okay. Bombs over Thrag Dad. Oh, cool. Your favorite and mine. What are you doing over there? You petting something? You petting, touch. Petting this cat. I told you the cat was over there. Oh, search for Azconta. I can't have predicted, predicted that. Meh, 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 meh. So right now we have a 4-drop, 5-drop, 6-drop, 7-drop, and an 8-drop in our hand. And, uh, you know, if we can just hit lands all the way through, I think we'll be okay. That seem good. Did the cat touch your spaghetti? Not yet. Okay, well that's good. I wish I wish there was a better, a greater variety of equipment. It's all swords and shields and boots. <laughs> what kind of equipment do you want? I wish some of the equipment looked more like World of Warcraft equipment. That stuff is gas. All right, so we have our fourth man at least. The run comes down. Bombs or Thrag Dad. Now I have Bombs or Thrag Dad stuck in my head. I don't think that's the song. Uh, It's in my head now. What's in your head? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> What's in your head? Thrun is such a good card, dude. It's pretty good. Is this cube? <laughs> that's rude. I have not played WoW for uh, I have that is a that is a game I have not played in a long time. That was Obi Wan Kenobi. Many years. Ooh. I played in two thousand five. I remember playing WoW and being like, "Yeah, I can just play for like an hour," and then three hours later, I was just like, "I've made a terrible mistake." Where did my time go? I find all cod pieces to be menacing, to be honest. Oh, John. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, why are you the way that you are? Oh, you took away my Thrag Daddy. But you gave us a land, so... It's like the gift that keeps on giving. It gave one time, I guess. Oh my god, I never used to play PvP when I played WoW because I just never... I never wanted my WoW experience to be similar to, like, my StarCraft experience. I never want to play... I don't like playing games where my physical dexterity has to be better than someone else's physical dexterity because it's never going to happen. So as soon as people start attacking me and I can't run fast enough or I can't cast my spells fast enough to kill you and survive, eh, it's just not as fun for me at that point. I'm not a Korean, man. My... my my APM is real low. Sounds like a mortgage thing. <laughs> What's your APM on that house? That sounds like a mortgage thing, if you ask me. I don't like that my opponent took my 1-5 drop, and they didn't give me anything to replace it with. Only tears. I'd buy that for a dollar as a good Robocop throwback. That was a good movie. It's pretty good. Well, the original, anyway. Did they remake it? Oh, yeah, they did remake it. Yeah, they it. did. I didn't I see it, but... Neither of exactly. That's all I need. If I know my motivation is not high enough to see it, it did not impress me. See, we're all having fun. Aren't you having fun? Because... <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with how accurate that sounds. Boy. 
You remember that thing where RoboCop shoots all those guys in the ads? Yeah, that part was amazing. And it was actually that part was actually edited out of the the like the original footage. That was actually in like the Here's my problem. If we play Worm Coil, they have the perfect opportunity to Supreme Verdict. I still kind of think we have to. But at least if they do that, we get two guys. Whereas if we were Thar, they just wipe the board and we have nothing, which is really bad. Sure. The the trailer for the new cinematic train wreck of 2018. What is the new one? Oh, don't say it's Venom. I actually think it's fine. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. I'm waiting patiently to try to figure out what you're going to say. Can we just win with this this the run? Probably not cuz they could just go like um Snapcaster Cryptic. They can do all kinds of things that just increase their clock. Is it why like okay, explain to me why it's bad. You saw a trailer which had great acting from Tom Hardy. It had exposition about what's going on. It's a teaser trailer, so I don't know why people's expectations are through the roof like you're going to see it. It's a Tom Hardy movie, and I actually can't think of the last Tom Hardy movie that wasn't good, which means he picks his roles very carefully. The The Marvel Cinematic Universe has an ex extremely great reputation right now for making high-quality films, and Sony has even upped their game to, to be among them with, with Homecoming. I literally have no idea why people are... are, are are complaining about Venom right now. Other than the fact that they didn't like the fact that they didn't see Venom in a teaser trailer. And that's what, that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, I think. Well, Tom uh, Holland is actually going to be in the movie, apparently. That, that was the last thing I heard. Let's see if this guy can come down. Uh, it actually is a Marvel Cinematic, Uni movie, Cinematic Universe movie. Like, they... That's why Tom Holland is going to be it, right? Like... Like, three days ago... Three days ago, Sony Twitter teases fans over whether Tom Holland will appear in Venom. Like... It's a good name. I just, I don't understand, like, what Sony, like, even Homecoming was good, whether it's a cinematic universe movie or not. And I don't understand why people, like, based on, like, you have no reason, literally no reason to dislike a movie based on one minute you saw in a teaser trailer. It doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like people in general just like to dislike things. But I'll always go see a movie with my boy Tom Hardy in it. Same. I, 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 if you could, if anyone in chat can think of a Tom Hardy movie that was not good, let me know. Cause I don't think I've ever, I've never seen one. Six, seven, eight. I guess we just hope you don't have it here. You probably will. I guess we'll find out. I like that you guys are using that it was two minutes as an argument. That is wonderful to me. I love it. I love it. Sure. All right. Let's go to the next game. Wait, you scooped? Yeah, we were dead. Oh, were we at three? We were at three. They had Vanillion Click and they had... Uh, okay. Cool, I made. I don't know what you said, but yes. Time to just bring this guy in because it's a 3-3, but I don't know if he's that good. Yeah, you weren't paying attention, but I asked you to give me a million dollars, and you said yes, so pay up. <laughs> Is that really what happened? Yeah. Wow, I must be drunk. No one puts it on the left. Oh, man, I guess I'm breaking the mold here. 
Yeah, but no one's face is also on the left. So, I mean, I don't really think that my stream is... I mean, I'm sorry, I don't find I don't follow the like traditional magic streamer overlay formatting. I'm gonna go get some liquid refreshment. Why? Because my body needs substance. Substance? Yeah. Okay, so a substance is not water; it's food. How do you know that? And b substance is not a word. Hey man. Yeah, yeah, bro. If you don't have water, you'll die. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I guess you're right. I didn't think about that. Oh, they might look into four? Oh, I didn't even realize that. They said it's not looking good for me, and I was like, wait, why? All right, let's see if you got a counter. Logic not for one. Manalik, remand, thingamajig. Whatchamacallit. No. It's like it's like it feels like there's a fundamental misunderstanding of what the word tease means, right? Like it, the point is to literally tease you. It's in the name, it's in the title. <laughs> Who's the best actor of all time? That's a good question. Hello, bread loaf. See if you want to block a snapcaster. I'm just joking with you. Wait, how did I attack with this? It says Defender right on it. <laughs> Wait, what? It lets you attack with that? It's not supposed to because this one just makes an O1. <laughs> God, I can't even handle it. <laughs> Why does it say Defender on it? Oh is my! Is supposed to say defender? No, the colony garden doesn't make an O one defender. It just makes an O one plant. But this one has defender because it's made from the, it makes it it makes it from the equipment, that's in um. It make there's the equipment in uh not the not the yeah the equipment in uh Ixalan that makes two O one plants with defender. Right. And like this guy, they just they just replace the plant token because it's an O one plant token. Like no one will play colony garden anymore. Oh my god, dude. That's hilarious. Oh, they're gonna V click us during upkeep. A little joke's on you. I got two I got two five drops. You pick the one you want me to play. Oh my god, dude, that's fantastic. I am so Oh, those are OTs actually, not even O ones. Is there an O1 defender? What am I thinking of then? My god, it's just it's brilliant. Can someone define brilliant. quality? Brilliant. Wasn't that the Guinness commercial? Sure. You don't even know. You're right. <laughs> uh yeah, I made a plant token and it said defender, but I could still attack with it. Can I get my money back, please? So let's assume you have I think we're just playing this guy, right? Cause I want you to counter this more than I want you to counter Garrick. The token even has an Ixalan symbol on it. But look, the zero one, one the one is like blue, as if they like changed it incorrectly or something. Like it's like, like it's adjusted somehow. It looks like it was an O2 and they adjusted it to be an O1 because of the, the, the source. That's weird. But they kept everything else, including the fact that it's a defender. That's super strange, dude. 
I think it, no, it isn't. It's supposed to be an O2, which is why the O is black and the the one is blue. Oh, that's that's a thing. How does this Thrun just not? Oh, you named Thrun. <laughs> How does this Thrun just not kill you? Oh, I see. Don't have one more counter spell. Did you guys hear Hunter? Do we just draw four here? What if they go detention sphere? Like draw, like drawing four. Drawing four seems good. Especially because we want to hit a land drop to play this prime time. Row. Isn't this mistake actually more complicated than just someone being lazy? Yeah, it's a really weird mistake. It feels like it's so much harder to do this than it would be to just summon the right token. Oh, the shadow... The shadow said, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Oh, why did I pay two for that? Because I got distracted by a sub, so... There you go. That was my two-life gift to you. Alright, so you clearly have... Cryptic Command. Be prepared. So we'll play this and see what happens. I assume you're going to cryptic it. Like you do. So we'll play little booties. I wish Rune Halo said, like, if you have one untapped land, it doesn't, you have protection. Like, so then, like, you can actually strategically play around it nope <laughs> nope just chuck tester was it chuck tesla testa chuck do you remember testa. that meme yeah it's chuck testa remember that that was an old meme it still checks out though that's true is it the rurik thar here you have two prime times all right, we'll just we'll just roll a prime time out here. Can you just stop drawing counter spells? I'm not asking for a lot here, man. Or or am I? Apparently you are. Apparently I am. You got it. Well, that thing's gone, I guess. Old El Farino. Yeah, get in there for one. I'm not, but. Why not? I guess we will. He wants to trade his Snapcast, so that's totally fine. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll make that deal every day. That trade every day. Some type of way. Trade every day. That's a song I just wrote. It's not very good. Clearly. Well, Serum Visions is a good one, but it does put you off Cryptic Command Mana, which is really what I want in life. As long as you play the land. <sighs> Ooh. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No way, we're prime timing first. Let the bodies hit the floor. Would I like to use this ability? Yeah. What if they have a path? Oh god, don't have it. Oh boy! I'm just gonna kill this Gideon. Yeah. So now they have to wipe the board, which then taps them out again, which is great. I'm gonna get a Hydra for like a million. I like a good Hydra for a million. Pretty much everything is Disney. Pixar, Disney. Pirates of the Caribbean, Disney. Marvel, Disney. Supreme Verdict, Disney. I'm actually going to crack these on Upkeep Arena. Five. How does this deck beat a Rorik Thar with a Lightning Greaves on it? I don't know. 
Actually, how big is our Hydra right now? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So a 10, 10. And we can ask, we can also try and hit um We can also try to hit Crater Hoof Behemoth. I'm in. I'm down to clown. Crater Hoof one time. Oh, we did it, boys. We could also play Ugin. Why don't we just win the game? Well, because if they have Path... They didn't have it last time. They don't have it now. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure, though? Yes. Okay. I'll trust you. Oh, this is awkward. He doesn't get the haste. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, my God. Michael. Michael. <laughs> He actually had it? Oh boy, where the it was his top deck, I guess. We could have had a Eugene in play. I mean still a six six, like whatever. Next turn we got Rurkthar. We got Kessig Wolfron in this guy. Oh this guy's Shroud. Shroud is so much less worse than uh It's not as good as Hexproof. Ugin is less than half a ticket? Is that a serious No way. I can't tell if that's an actual Magic Online reference. No, it's a dollar fifty. Oh my god, the promo is twenty six cents. That is insane. That's so weird because it is played in modern. Not that much, I guess. You're not played that much in modern. <sighs> Why do you have to do me like that, man? Why do you have to get wrecked all the time? Don't do me like that. Colonnade. Oh, dang it. Tanya. Path Exile last card. Then you take six. Oh, got him. Woo. Sweet. 2-3 feels good for this deck, actually. All right, so the things I would change. I didn't like Warhammer. I don't like Blood Moon in the main deck, to be honest. If you're if you're putting two in, I think modern decks either want four Blood Moons or no Blood Moons. That's what I, that's what I think. It seems correct. Like, if you, want, if you want to draw Blood Moon in a matchup, you really want to draw it. If you don't, you really don't. So I would just either put them all on the sideboard or take them all out. It's also not a great part of the strategy. Great Sable Stag, I think, is just worse than Thrun, and I think you have enough Thrun effects. So I would take that guy out. I'm not sure what Windstorm is for. I would take that guy out. Um, other than that, I liked Summoner's Pack. Summoner's Pack. I wish I always had more because I always wanted to search for these like Silver Bullet guys. Um, let me check my notes here that I was taking. We definitely want like a Reclamation Sage or an Acidic Slime or both in the main deck. Uh, I like the different the different price points, three versus five. So I would just put Reclamation Sage in the main deck. I think it's super useful in this format. I think you just want it. I also wouldn't mind a second Ugin. Uh, Beast Within is great. All these other cards are great. I don't know if I like Sword. It seems kind of clunky, but I can see why you'd want it. It's a little narrow. Uh, Walking Ballista felt a little weird. I, I think it's a good card, but you don't want to hit it off Genesis Hydra. You can't search for it with Summoner's Pact. Um, Something is a one of it's probably okay. I just, what's the point, though? Like, I'd rather just have more consistency. I'd rather just have more guys like Primeval Titan, to be quite honest. Or like an, put, or put like, in a Tarka, maybe? I do like a Tarka. A Tarka was, was one of these suggestions. Yeah, I think that's better. Because you want cards that you can also cast off Somberwald Sage, which you can do with Walking Ballista, but... You can't search for it. Like, I'd like to be able to search for it with Summoner's Pact and then just play it immediately. Uh, this looks like the deck. So I said add Ugin, add Atarka. We did that. No Warhammer, no Blood Moon. I think that's true. Walking Ballista felt weird. Add dudes that kill artifacts and enchantments. I would like to put one more artifact or enchantment card in the sideboard. Or even in the main deck somewhere. I like Spell Sky a lot. I think it's very good against both Boggles and, like, if there's an Infect deck, but... I wish you could search for it with Summoner's Pact. You cannot, unfortunately, but... I don't know if I like Master of the Wild Hunt that much. I think a card like Acidic Slime might just be better. 
This guy dies to, to Lightning Bolt, which does which there are a lot of in the format. Whereas Acidic Slime takes care of a lot of problems. Look at this. I have 4, 8, 12. I have 20 different Acidic Slimes. I'll use this promo. So we're going to get rid of Master. I can see Dragon Lord Jamoka being a good board card, but the problem is that you only have Somber Old Sage and Bird of Paradise to cast it. So it's a little awkward. I don't like having to rely on a, split, a specific 0-1 creature surviving to be able to cast my creatures, which is why I like Atarka a little bit better. Um, everything else in the deck I think is great. Uh, I think the deck was definitely fun to play, and I, I, I think it does have some some potential here. There were some awkward drops. Like I never want to have Locks on a Warhammer and then uh, have to like it costs three to play and three to equip, which is really high. I think a sword in that situation is probably just better. And also you have Lightning Greaves times two, which means like there are so many times where you're going to have a Warhammer and you can't actually put it on your guy because you have Lightning Greaves. You could swap out Forest for Temple Garden. That's true. You could actually put like one Temple Garden in the deck. Uh, I think you can also get away with only one Stomping Ground if you really wanted to. I think there are probably... Were there, are there any other lands that we want in this deck to search out with, um, with Primeval Titan? Someone mentioned Genesis Wave. I don't like Genesis Wave because, again, one of the main sources of ramp in the deck is Somber Walled Sage, which only casts creatures. So a card like Primeval Titan or Crater Huff Behemoth or Genesis Hydra are just better. Even Ulamog you can cast off a Somber Walled Sage, which is pretty sweet, so... Um, yeah, we could play a Bojoku Bog somewhere. I mean, we have Double Graft Digger's Cage. I don't know. I don't think the Graveyard decks are as strong right now. Like, I don't think Dredge is a real big force right now. Um... Yeah, I think this is actually, like, based on our record, based on how close... The games were very close, I think. And I never felt like I was super out of the games. Um, I would like a way to, like, draw more cards, maybe. I can see putting, like, a Harmonize, but the two Garrick Primal Hunters are pretty good at that. Uh, I think this is just... I think this is a, a little stronger of a configuration for the deck, and I I, I think it's... I think it was, I, th I was... I thought it was fun. I had a good time. Scott, I hope you appreciate that. I hope you... Uh, I hope you uh, appreciate the feedback, and I hope it helps. If you have any questions, you can just shoot me a message. Thank you so much for, for letting me try it out. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if you guys were ever interested in sending me decks and having them play test them through a league, I definitely have uh, the information in the in my Twitch profiles. You can check that out. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you next time.